Yo, what's good my people? So today we are going to talk about how to use the higher time frame and uh, to get some swing trades. If you are a, an aspiring swing trader and you want to capitalize on these big moves, moves like these ones, moves that usually take long to to get finished and you don't want to stay on your computer for a long time or, or for like every day you will want to see this video moves like these ones and these moves like these ones here i will show you today on how to capitalize on them so let us first focus on these moves first you will always spend most of your time in the four hour candles one hour candles uh, daily 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 charts most of the time since you 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 are an aspiring swing trader and you will notice many things happening on these big time frames that you will use to capitalize on your trades and follow the trend of the market to a specific direction so you will want to first of all as you can see here these are one hour one one daily daily candle representing all the days that have been here all the days that they have been traded here and as you can see this uh, the market uh, is currently on a bullish trend the market is on a bullish trend you can see here there is a bullish trend we're going up uh, since it's only taking the higher highs, uh, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs have been taken out, and uh, not the lows are still remaining open. With that, we will come back to the uh, low time frame of 15, four, 4 hours. Um, under the 4 hours, I think you will notice some things. The, 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 the price is fractal, and you will what you will notice on a 1 minute candle uh, chart. And you will also notice on uh, four hour candle chart, one hour candle chart, 15 minutes, and so on. So you will you will want to see to look at this market in that perspective. And as you can see here, we will want to to analyze this move downwards to this fair lookup and see how we can capitalize on it. Uh, as you can see, the high was created at Wednesday, 27th December, 2023. And uh, the high to this low is here. You will first start to uh, first start to, uh, to identify the highs and lows, highs and lows, highs and lows, so that you can notice if there is a certain change, a certain market structure shift that has happened in the market. So after that, you will you will want to after that you will want to notice if the low of this candle has been taken out. Uh, leaving this high exposed here so as you can see this was a very nice market structure shift that happened uh, happened since you are a, you, you, you are an aspiring swing trader you will notice you will start to notice this and we, we, with the swing traders you mostly supposed to be very patient with the markets and uh, take time to analyze your trades and you should rush since you you will risk to blow in your account since you can enter your market your position on a wrong place and the market goes against you for like two one day or two days and eventually you get stopped out with a lot of a lot of capital loss so with that you will you will see this swing trade you will see this market structure shift then you will notice that the market went retraced but fails to take out this high since there is a very nice mitigation block here a mitigation block is an order block that has already been used by the market has already been broken by the market but it helps the price it helps to keep the price from taking the high or the low of the market depending on the trend like this black candle is the mitigation block which we could use to get in the trade you will always be you will, you will get more videos on this topic mitigation blocks and how to identify the correct mitigation blocks for you to enter the trade with that you will notice this mitigation block 
which resisted the price from going up and this happened on Tuesday, January date 2 Tuesday on a Tuesday, the 2nd January after the open of the of the year so after, for that, after that you will want to take your trade around near your stop loss since your stop loss will be here or above that mitigation block if you decided to go with the trade stop loss you will want to take your position near your stop loss so that you can minimize the risk of you getting stopped out most of the time and you will take your position like this let me show you here a very nice short position you will take your position from there put your stop loss here and aim for these lows that are still open on the market so you can enter like four positions here or five positions you will put your first take profit on this low which when you measure is a nice one to trade of which you will get a profit of 2480 USD trading with the losses of one this is called trade another one you will put it here on this low is a very nice 4.1 to 4 trade ratio and you will get a profit of 446.9 USD when you say the stop loss of one uh, like loss size of one on this trade and the last position you will get with um, your third take profit here uh, your third take profit will be here let me let me highlight it this for you third take profit uh, uh second take profit and the first take profit going down so when we are take profit which was here we'll get 500 5, USD with this one swing move and with that you will want to trade your stop loss when this when your first take profit has been reached you will want to manage your trade and trail your stop loss to your entry position so that in case the market goes against you you will be able to manage the loss and you won't be able to incur any loss since you have already managed your profit your stop loss is on break even and the trade is running risk free and with that you will on the after this second after this second profit has been reached you will re, you will retrace your stop loss to here your stop loss you will take it down to here where there is a nice market structure shift here on the top of that order block let me remove this you will put your you will put your stop loss here after after the, the, the market has been the, the, the second tech profit has been taken out and after the third profit to be taken out you will trail your stop loss here ignore the week put it on the body since this week is very long it's already re uh, almost reached your second pro your second uh, stop loss place here and with this you will complete your trade on this low candle you 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 won't mind you shouldn't care if the market goes down from here goes down and uh, continue going down but you should be satisfied with the trades that you have taken on this swing move and your trade will be completed on thursday at 11 2024 uh, from second to 11th that's a very long time if you are a swing trader and you, well, you don't have time to go check on the market regularly this is what you can do and with that let us meet on the next video goodbye guys this was a gold uh, gold usd review for the gold traders thank you